For those of you that do not know, a HELOC is an amazing tool to pay off or restructure your existing debt if done correctly. And odds are that over the past couple of years, you have gained equity inside of your house just due to the demand in housing and inflation. Personally, I've used a HELOC on one of my properties to restructure debt within my real estate portfolio, and it is saving me tons of money. So what better way to save a lot of money and pay less interest than to use that home equity and apply this HELOC strategy that I will be talking about in this video. And not only will I be going over how to pay off your existing debt with a HELOC, I will also be going over how a HELOC can save you so much money. And make sure to watch to the very end because I will be going over the risks you need to know before using your home equity line of credit. And if you find any value from this video, I would greatly appreciate you hitting that thumbs up button. It would help out my channel a lot. Now, how do you actually pay off your existing debt with a HELOC? Well, it's very simple and I'm going to lay it out for you right here. You first wanna look at where your consumer debt is coming from. Now this may be coming from sources such as credit cards, student loans, car loans, or anything like that. Now you have to look at the interest rates that you're being charged on that consumer debt. For instance, if we're going to look at your credit cards, that could be well into the 20% that they're charging you which is honestly ridiculous. Then from your line of credit, you will write a check to yourself. Once it hits your bank and it's active to be used, you will then use that money in order to pay off your consumer debt. And now you don't have that consumer debt, but you do have a balance on your HELOC that you're responsible for and you need to pay back. This is no way, shape or form a hack or a trick to get rid of your debt. This is a way to limit the amount of interest that gets charged to you so that you can keep more of your hard earned money in your pockets. Now I want to make something very crystal clear. If you use a HELOC to pay off your existing debt, you did not pay off that debt. You restructured that debt and you transferred it from that consumer debt that's charging you loads of interest to a HELOC, which charged you less interest. In turn, you did not pay off that debt. You owe the same amount that you did before. But now you set yourself up to make a plan, take action, and pay off that debt so much faster. Now, how do you know if you should be using a HELOC in order to pay off your consumer debt? One of the best times to use a HELOC to pay off your existing debt is when the interest rate is lower than whatever that consumer debt is charging you. For instance, let's say you have a car loan for $10,000 and the interest rate is 10% over 60 years. Your monthly payment is going to be $212.47 and you would pay $2,748.23 over the total life of the loan in total interest payments. I would bring your total investment over the whole life of the loan to $12,748.23. Let's say instead you use a home equity line of credit with 7% interest and that $10,000 on it from buying that car. With the same monthly payment of $212.47 a month, you will only have to pay $1,923.19 of interest, which is about $825 less over the whole course of the loan. Now, is that crazy money? No, but it is less money that you have to pay and more money in your pockets. It is also better to use a HELOC when restructuring your compound interest debt. For example, credit card debt is compound interest debt. Compound interest is calculated on the principal amount and the accumulated interest of previous periods and thus can be regarded as interest on interest. So credit card companies thought, hey, they're paying interest on the money that they use. That's not good enough. So let's go ahead and have them pay interest on their interest on the money that they use. How lucky are we? To understand it a little bit better, here is a graph that I wanted to show you so I can explain it a little bit better. Now, as you can see, you have compound interest and you have simple interest. Simple interest is what a home equity line of credit typically charges and compound interest is other consumer debt such as credit cards. So simple interest only charges the amount that you use. So as you can see in year one, let's say you use $5,000, you would have to pay $250 at the end of the year of interest and your account balance would be $5,250. Now, if you move into year two, your principal amount is still $5,000. It's not the $5,250. 
So at the end of the year, you once again will have to have $250 in interest that was charged, which will now bring your balance to $5,500 because the previous balance was $5,250. That's the interest and the principal. And then lastly, for year three, the $5,000 of principal that you have once again will charge you $250 of interest, racking your total up to $5,750. As you can see with simple interest, you're only getting charged interest on the principal. Now let's move over to compound interest. Now this is what your credit cards typically are. Let's say at the end of year one, you have $5,000, you will be charged $250 of interest, bringing your total to $5,250. But as you can see at the end of year two, your interest, if you didn't use your that credit card at all, your interest and principal will be $5,250 and you would get charged on that $5,250. So the interest on that is $262.50 bringing your account balance to $5,512.50. Now that gets moved into year three. If you didn't use it, then you would have had $5,512.50 of a beginning balance. You would then be charged $275.63 of interest earned, and that would make your total $5,788.13. So not only do you get charged interest on your principal, you get charged interest on your interest. So by all means, if you're able to restructure your debt to get out of the compound interest into your home equity line of credit, which is typically simple interest, then you will be saving yourself some money. Now there is risk when using your home equity line of credit. I mean, it is a lien against your house. So if you do not pay it back, you can say goodbye to your house. And I don't mean to scare you away from using this strategy. I just want to be upfront and clear so that you know what you're getting yourself into. The good thing is though, that when you apply for a home equity line of credit, they typically will not give you 100% loan to value. So if you do get in a pinch for some reason, you could potentially just sell your house, but you do not at all want to get in a position where that's what you have to do. I totally understand that sometimes you are in a pinch for money, especially in today's economy with high inflation on literally everything. But if you have existing consumer debt that seems to be growing, you really need to evaluate your spending in your financial situation before using a home equity line of credit. And for that reason, I believe that everyone should educate themselves on financial management and correct budgeting. I just would hate to see you not fully understand how a home equity line of credit works, go out there and use it, and potentially put yourself in jeopardy of losing your house or over leveraging to the point where you have monthly payments that you cannot pay. Which is why it's so important to understand that when you transfer your debt from a consumer debt to a home equity line of credit, do not just make the minimum payments because the only thing that will do is pay towards the interest. You need to pay what you're paying beforehand on your consumer debt, apply that to your home equity line of credit monthly payment so that you can pay the interest and you can pay towards the HELOC principal so you can pay that off so much faster. Restructuring your debt with a HELOC is meant to be able to pay it off faster and save more money on interest. It is not meant to transfer your debt from one location to another just so that you can go out there and, and rack up a whole lot more debt. Which is why before you start paying off your existing debt with your home equity line of credit, you need to understand how HELOC payments work. Which is why you should watch this video next where I break down exactly how HELOC payments work and how they're structured. Thank you and see you in the next one.